Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm gonna be doing a freestyle reading for you guys. Let's see what important messages wants to come in through this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Pisces season. Happy birthday to all the fishies that are celebrating their, their birthday this weekend. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful time. All of our birthdays are coming soon, so let's celebrate our Piscesness. <laughs> let's celebrate our all of our superpowers as Pisces. Let's see. Universe, please bring in a Celtic Cross upright cards, bringing in the most relevant and important messages that you have today for Pisces. Before we start, please make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and to the Manifestology channel as well. Over there, I'm going to be sharing all sorts of free tools for your healing, awakening, and basically well being. Alrighty. Let's see. First card. Wow. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Damn, Pisces. This is abundance. Let's see the rest of the cards here. Okay, so Pisces, right now I think that you are on the verge of manifesting <laughs> a lot of money. Um, but you could be feeling perhaps a little bit tired or unfocused. Um, if that's not the case, Pisces, some of you could be being held back by limiting beliefs. Okay, this is coming in quite strongly here with the Eight of Swords. These are self-imposed limitations. Thinking that maybe you're not good enough, that you're not capable, that whatever you're thinking about is not going to be successful. You know, all of these things could very well be manufactured in your mind. So don't believe them. Don't don't allow yourself and your own mind to hold you back from doing the things that you know are going to take you to that abundance, okay? So if you have a plan, if you have a goal, an idea, if you have a method in which, you know, a method that you've used before, and time and time again, you have achieved your success, then why are you going to start doubting that method? Continue to use what you know to be true. Some of you guys could be, um, I don't know, falling into a little bit of a victim mentality. It's like maybe you were experiencing lots of progress and success. You were moving uh, forward quite fast. And maybe at some point you had to focus on other things, change certain schedules or change you know the approach that you're having in regards to certain things at work and one way or another maybe things slow down a bit the progress sort of was either paused or just slowed down dramatically and maybe pisces you're feeling like oh maybe my luck is running out maybe this phase of abundance and success is running out Maybe it was never going to be permanent. Maybe it was never going to be, um, you know, a new way of living. It was instead a little bit of luck. That's not the case, Pisces. That's your mind playing tricks on you, okay? You could be very well at this time feeling kind of like a victim too, so beware of that. If you say things or you think things like, why is it always so hard for me? Why is it always so easy for everybody but me? You know, things like that in regards to anything, really, in your life. Not only your pursuit of wealth, could be anything. So just be aware of that. You are highly intuitive. You're very sensitive. Very mystical, very powerful Pisces. Don't forget that, okay? Some of you, as I mentioned, sort of like... You saw this speed sort of like slowing down when you were actually ready to have it all speed up. And maybe some of you guys, you know, you're having these negative thoughts and they can be very burdensome. I think that they can be stressing you out a little bit more than you realize. 
So if you're feeling, you know, anxious or stressed out, if you're feeling tired, overburdened, unfocused, fearful, all of these things, um, it's it's important for you to listen to them. Because, you know, with the Ten of Wands here and the Seven of Cups, this is being very, very burdened, overburdened by a lack of clarity. So if you're having a lack of clarity and you're seeing things in a way that is pessimistic, negative, um, low vibrational, you know, pessim pessimistic, I think is the best word to describe it. If you're seeing things in that way, you're most definitely experiencing or will be experiencing a big sense of overwhelm. Because you're going to feel like, oh my god, maybe I need to change everything. Maybe everything needs to be different in order for me to adapt. Maybe all of the things that I figured out are not going to work anymore. You know, it's like this very negative mindset, Pisces, I do have to say. And what you're forgetting here, Pisces, is that you have as the main energy the Ten of Pentacles. I think that this could be you getting so close to a new phase of your life, a new beginning, a new chapter, something that is going to be clearly, absolutely exceptional for you. And maybe this is you sort of like freaking out a little bit. It's like you know that things are going so well that maybe you feel like you need to counteract. <laughs> Uh, that frequency of success with a little resistance that pulls you in that other that other sense of the balance because you're used to things being a struggle and now that they're not a struggle it's like but I need to find a way to make them a struggle because I'm used to the struggle you know what I mean in your environment you've got the two of cups I feel like there's a lot of people showing you support and love important connections transparent connections People who really want to connect to you. Some people here around you are actually interested romantically in you, Pisces. Someone here wants to offer you love. But maybe you feel like you can't really build the empire that you would like to build alongside this person. Maybe you feel like they don't have the work ethic, the abundance mindset, the proper attitude towards life. Maybe you feel like this person is lazy, unfocused, permanently lazy, and permanently unfocused. Not like a thing that happens for a few days. No, just like permanently. As far as hopes and fears, maybe you have hopes for this person. That's a really, really sexy magician right there. <laughs> this is the magician card. You have a hope to work your magic, make it make make things happen, pretty much. And you also have perhaps a fear about that. But ultimately, where you're being guided here is to listen to your mind. Listen to those thoughts that are clearly getting you off balance. And don't allow yourself to be convinced of that truth. Right now, you may be perceiving things way more negatively than they actually are. So if you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling blocked, if, you'll f if you're feeling heavy, if you're feeling that the things that you want are not manifesting or will not manifest ever, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. It could be your exhaustion talking, if you find yourself being exhausted right now. It could be astrological, it could be hormonal, it could be many, many different things. But ultimately, this is not a real reflection of what is going on. Sure, things may have slowed down a little bit. Sure, you may have, I don't know, not the same results this week that you had in the previous weeks. Whatever. But ultimately, it's, it's... I'm being guided to remind you time and time again. What you know works, works. It's not going to stop working. You have already tried something. It has already worked for you. Every time. And it will continue to work now. So there may be this sort of like all over the place energy, conflicting energy, 
just you know a little bit confusing people's egos getting in the way you could be having some kind of challenges with a capricorn a virgo or a taurus person maybe you could be dealing with anxiety at this time as well but ultimately you're going to be victorious look at that this is a card that you have in your near future so victory is very near pisces you know even if your mind plays tricks on you and makes you feel an anxiety and stress and worry and it makes you think all these things ultimately the victory is still yours so it seems like you're not going to be falling for it you deserve abundance, prosperity, a life of plenty. And that is exactly what you're getting here, Pisces. This is you being very comfortable, having all of the resources you could possibly need in the material world. This is you being very healthy, very strong, very independent, loving your life, loving who you are. This is you in your victory. But I feel like there's a part of you that maybe is a little bit scared of that victory. Maybe there's a part of you that's a little bit fearful of the change that it will bring. Queen of Cups, again. Very sensitive, very intuitive, emotional. Very connected to your spirituality, your power and your connection to the divine. But on the downside, could be a little bit of victimhood here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your environment as well. Or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone around you can be very harsh with their words and the way they perceive things. Three of Cups and your hopes and fears. Someone around you may be very cold sometimes. And not only someone, as in a person, but I feel like the environment can also sometimes feel very cold. Meaning that, I mean literally, if you guys are experiencing the storms, the snowstorms and stuff, but what I'm referring to is more of the sense that life is about the results. Like, no one cares how you feel, no one cares about anything. If you don't get the result, it's as if you have you didn't do anything, you know? And I feel like many of you are feeling like life is all about that. Like, you know, it is or it isn't. Speaking with the numbers, the facts, you either get the results or you don't. It's like you're not, you feel like maybe the universe life doesn't really cut you slack at all. To, or to anybody, you know. As far as hopes and fears, Pisces, I feel like you really want to take a break. I feel like you want to take a break. I feel like you would like to maybe be a little more, more social, connect to other people, have some fun. But you feel that maybe that sort of like distracts you from what you're doing and it can sort of be like an open door to toxicity, addiction, um, maybe partying a little bit too much or maybe drinking a little bit too much. It's like you want to have fun, but you recognize that right now the fun that you want to have could definitely derail you from your routine from your schedule, from the things that you know that you're fighting for or wishing to manifest at this time. So I do see you sort of like resisting this very natural desire to just sort of focus on the fun in your life, you know? But hey, you know, if you feel like right now you need to focus on the results, if you feel like right now um, more than ever you have to sort of like pull that strength, from your core and make things happen then you know exactly what you have to do pisces just don't trust the negative perspectives that are appearing in your mind right now don't trust that all that much where there could be true truth sorry um that you know results could be better right now 
That does not mean that what you're doing is not working. That does not mean that you're failing. That does not mean that things are always going to be the same. It just means that A, your mind is being a little bit more negative than you need to, and B, adjust accordingly. Do again and again and again what you know works for you. That's other another message that is coming in here, okay? So that's what I have for you in this freestyle reading. I love you, Pisces. I love you so much. I hope that you have an amazing night wherever you are, or day, if you are already watching this in daytime. Um, happy Pisces season. Happy birthday to all the fishies. I love you to the moon and back. I hope you know that. If you ever want to say thank you for the channel, you can always, um, and for the readings, you can always donate. You can always purchase our Pisces as fuck mug. <laughs> Or um, purchase any of the online products that I have for you guys. All the information will be below. I invite you to check out our free resources at Manifestology here on YouTube. You can just search in the search box Manifestology as, as it sounds. And you're going to get the new channel. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.